Welcome back to my Beats, everyone. Unexpectedly, we missed our flight, but look at this cool place that we found. our flight. We spent too much time shopping for fake goods, but the good thing is that Qatar Airways only charges 90 bucks to change the flight. And we found this food court on the first floor, which like it's really only the workers that are, that are coming here. It's kind of hidden. It's really hidden. Yeah, it's uh, 60, 55 baht. 55 baht, so a little bit under $2. There you go. Mm. This is what we need right now. All we really had today was breakfast, because we got really excited at that MBK mall with all those like knockoff goods, we kind of got distracted and didn't eat. And we got back and realized, you know, we were late. All right, I'm gonna take a bite. Take the food back to Marina. Oh man, this tray is now stable. So this is instant ramen with chicken. Mm -hmm. and this is their fried rice with chicken. Mm. So let's try Marina's dish. They said it was spicy. Oh, I believe her. It's like an aroma of like chilies. You smell like just burnt nostrils. Kind of scared. Let's, let's give it a try. Mm. Mmm, it tastes of chilies. This is instant ramen. She puts egg in it, she puts chili, she puts uh, Thai basil. This is spicy, this is really good actually. And the noodles aren't overcooked, which usually with instant noodles, it kind of usually happens because it's in a heated container. But she pulled it off and stir fried it, and they know how to cook instant noodles over here. Wow. Mmm, that's good. Let's try it. This is actually garlic fried rice. And I added chicken to it, and it smells so much like garlic. There's a whole piece of garlic clove, and uh, it's really garlic. It's so strong. It's a really strong aroma. Mm. This is really good. As far as airport food goes, this $2 rice, best in the world here. Wow, you can't beat this. Where in the world can you find a $2 airport food? Nowhere. You go to Chicago, it's like $15 for like a sandwich. You go to New York, $20 for a pizza. This right here, you can get the rice. The locals know about it. A lot of employees in here, they know the secret of the Thailand airport. I don't know if anybody's made a video on this yet. You know, we might have discovered something new. Matter of fact, if you're ever going to Thailand, or you're leaving Thailand, come all the way to the first floor, all the way in the corner, uh, and you'll find this food court. You can get your last bites of uh, Thai food before you go. So I got this pastry. I have no idea what's in it. It's kind of heavy. I asked the gentleman what it was and he couldn't understand what it was. <laughs> and all the sign said was pastry. The outside is flaky and the inside is like gummy. Mm. Like a custard? I kind of like a custard. Really thick custard. Almost like dough-like. Yeah, it's good. It's like lightly sweet. It has like a neutral flavor. But we also went basic. You know what it tastes like? <laughs> it tastes like when you do communion, the bread and body of Christ. That's what it tastes like. <laughs> I'm a little bit basic because I think it's safe, but... Mmm. <laughs> so airy. This is good. You don't see Marina right now, but she's making like these weird faces at me, like, feed me. She's like <laughs> smacking her lips, like, feed me, dude. Please let me get a bite. I'm working here, I'm recording. This, I feel like you can mess this up, but it's hard to. This is good. So what's really cool about this food court, it's actually called Airport Street Food, which is like so Thailand of this airport to do that. 11 food stalls and the majority of them are open. So you have a lot of options. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one.